Now, if you remember into our section 1, into the very first slide, we have talked about the kernel and shell, which are the part of your operating system. So, already we have discussed about the kernel. So, I am repeating the kernel task. What it does? It generally takes the command and makes our hardwares to work and give the output. So, kernel is the basic or we can say it is the required task what we have into the operating system. But again a drawback we have in the kernel or we can say a loophole we have in the kernel that it only understands a binary language that is a machine language. But as a user I cannot give every command into a binary language. So, if I want to interact with the kernel it will be very difficult for me to interact. That is the reason the operating system has again coated the kernel with a shell. So, shell is again a program which act as an intermediator between the user and the kernel. So, what it takes? When I give the input, what it will do? It will accept my input, it will translate it and again it will translate it into the machine language which is understood by the kernel. Now, kernel will take that particular input or the command in the machine language, it will process it, it will make our hardware to work accordingly, provide the output. Now, again the output which is provided to the kernel by the kernel is again into the binary language or we can say machine language. So, this again output is provided to the shell. Now, this shell will again translate this particular complete code and will it will provide to the user into the user language. So, basically I can say it act as a translator or an intermediator between the user and the kernel. So, it makes us easy to interact with the operating system. So, into next video, we are going to see how we are going to work on this shell and how many types of shell we do have into the Linux operating system.